Hi, this is Eric Topsuit from Insider Software. I'm going to show you how to manually transfer over a database from one computer to the other um, over the network or over the internet, or if you want to put it onto a CD, you could do that, do that as well. Um, this, uh, this video shows how to transfer a Funage Pro server library and a local library um, all in one go. So this is how we do it. As you can see, in my Funage Pro window, I have a server library called MyFonts, and I have a local library called Steelfish. Um, I also have sets. Um, no fonts are in the set, but we'll keep that in mind anyway. So uh, what I wanna, want to uh, show you is the folders that we're going to be copying over to, um, to the other computer. One of them is the Funage Pro fonts folder. And actually, I'm going to do that real quick. And the other... Uh, two folders that, uh, that you're going to need to copy over is the Funage Pro folder in the Users Home Library folder and also the FAP Client. Um, again, you're not going to see this if you don't have Funage Pro Server, um, but, uh, but uh, if you do, that this is how you're going to do it. So um, for speed, I have actually already copied it over to my other computer here. We're going to pretend this is a remote view of, uh, of, of a different computer that has Funage Pro installed. Um, so basically all we have to do is put all of the folders, as you can see I have my FAP client, my FAP, uh, my Funage Pro folder which is the database folder and the Funage Pro fonts which contains my uh, fonts from my local library. All we have to do is go into the home folder and the in the home folder that's where we put the Funage Pro fonts and as we saw on the other computer, the other two folders go into the user's home library. After that, if we start up Funage Pro after that, we should see, aha, there we go. So we have the server MyFonts library and the Steelfish library and all of our sets rolled over as well. Again, um, the only reason why this happened is because we copied over um, those three folders and put them in the correct places. That's how you do it. Thanks.